What is breast cancer? Breast cancer is an uncontrolled and independent growth of the breast tissue leading to the formation of tumor. It occurs as a result of mutation or abnormal changes in genes. Tumor Tumors are two types, benign tumor and malignant tumor. Benign tumor, a mass of cells do not spread into or invade nearby tissues, therefore they are not dangerous. Malignant tumor, malignant tumors are cancerous, they can invade nearby tissues. Some cancer cells can move into the bloodstream or lymph nodes, where they can spread to other parts of the body like liver, lungs, brain and bone. This is called metastasis. Stages of Breast Cancer There are different stages of breast cancer ranging from stage 0 to stage 4. Stage 0 Abnormal cells limited to ducts and not dangerous. If diagnosed in this stage, the survival rate of the patient is up to 100%. Stage 1 Cancer limited to the breast tissue less than 1 cm size with survival of 98% chances when treated. Stage 2 Tumor size less than 2 inches and spread to armpit lymph nodes less than 3 nodes. The survival rate is up to 88%. Stage 3 The tumor has spread to the chest wall or caused swelling or ulceration of breast or changes in skin color. Tumor is larger than 2 inches across with extensive spread to axillary or nearby lymph nodes. Survival rates are up to 52%. Stage 4 The tumor Tumor can be of any size and has spread to other organs such as bones, lungs, brain, liver, distant lymph nodes, chest wall. This is called metastasis. It is commonly found after the previous diagnosis of early breast cancer. Survival rate is 16%. Early breast cancer Early breast cancer includes stages 0, 1 and 2 which is curable through lumpectomy. Lumpectomy is breast conserving surgery where the lump or the tumor mass along with normal breast tissue around tumor is removed from breast. Typically when cancer is present but has not spread. The present study validation of sentinel node biopsy technique after prior lumpectomy in early breast cancer patients is intended to test the efficacy or the effectiveness of a new technique of imaging called sentinel node mapping to find out if the patients with early breast cancer who underwent previous lump excision have cancer containing nodes in their armpit. In other words, to see if it works in clinical trial, does it produce measurable effect? To know more about sentinel lymph node biopsy, let's start with learning the meaning of the lymph node and its functions. Lymph node they are small bean-shaped structures that work as filters for harmful substances. They contain immune cells that can help fight infection by attacking and destroying germs that are carried in through the lymph fluid. They are connected by lymph vessels. There are about 20 to 40 lymph nodes in the axilla armpit. Sentinel lymph node Sentinel lymph node is the first lymph node to which the cancer spreads from the primary tumor. When cancer spreads, the cancer cells may appear first in sentinel lymph node before spreading to other lymph nodes. Ultrasound Procedure Video Breast ultrasound uses sound waves to make images of the breast. Breast ultrasound is a non-invasive test. In this procedure, the patient is made to lie down in a comfortable position and a small amount of gel is applied to the breast and with the help of a transducer, the sound waves are used to create the images of the internal side of the breast. The procedure takes 15 to 20 minutes. An ultrasound helps the doctor to determine whether the lump is a fluid filled cyst or a solid tumor. It also allows to determine the location and size of the lump. To assess the lump whether it is cancerous, the sample of tissue or fluid should be removed from lump and tested in laboratory. In ultrasound, if there are any suspicious nodes present or located, you will undergo an FNAC, fine needle aspiration cytology of the node in the same sitting. 
Find needle aspiration cytology is a needle prick of the node, usually mildly painful, which is performed to detect cancer. The procedure is simple and involves a prick of 22 to 26 gauge needle in the breast mass and extracting cells. Then the cells extracted are placed on a slide or made into a cell block for evaluation in the pathology department. By the procedure, the doctors can distinguish between benign and mal. malignant tumor and the axillary limb can be evaluated mapping of sentinel node in armpit in case the ultrasound is normal or the node is negative for cancer you will be taken to the nuclear medicine department after a 4 hours fast on the afternoon before surgery here a small amount of radioactive dye 99 mtc labeled human serum albumin is injected around the nipple and is followed by a scan initially after 45 minutes and it required 2 hours later the overall duration for this procedure takes 2 and 1/2 hours and involves mild pain during the injection the purpose of the dye injection and scan is to see where lymph fluid which carries cancer in the body is going from the breast the amount of radiation involved in this procedure is harmless to human beings the dye injected contains a substance called albumin which is similar to the egg yolk it may cause reaction like rash itching breathlessness and puffiness in a small percentage of patients medicines to deal with these symptoms will be available in the scan room at all times and the dye will be injected by a doctor trained in the procedure sentinel lymph node biopsy it's a surgical procedure used to determine whether cancer has spread beyond the primary tumor into the lymphatic system it involves injecting a treasure material such as radioactive substance or a dye that helps surgeon to locate the sentinel nodes during surgery then through the biopsy procedure the tumor and the affected sentinel nodes are removed in the present study on the day of surgery after giving anesthesia another dye will be injected around the nipple and the breast will be massaged the purpose of injecting this dye is also to identify lymph glands to the armpit a small surgery will then be done where the skin over the node will be cut and the identified nodes will be removed After this your surgery will proceed as planned previously and this study will not affect any decision of management of your disease the dye injected has a small risk of allergic reactions like rash and itching for which medication and trained personnel will be available at all times during surgery inclusion and exclusion criteria for the following study inclusion patients who underwent lumpectomy patients who are ready to use contraceptives for birth control to avoid risk to fetus exclusion pregnant women are excluded from the study to avoid harmful effects and risk to the offsprings benefits from the study to the study participants there is no direct benefit as the procedure is carried out to test the new technique for the benefit of the future patients the future patients are directly benefited from the procedures as they are spared of complications of axillary lymph node removal participation in the study participation in the following study is absolute voluntary without undue influence from this researcher's side the participants have the right to discontinue from the study at any time without any penalty for refusal or withdrawal from the study in case you choose to participate in the study the details of the investigations will be recorded for future use participants privacy and confidentiality of data regarding the privacy and confidentiality the participants privacy is respected personal identifiers are removed and data will be kept safe and password protected with the access only to the researcher the result of the study may be published in medical journals and presented in conference where your personal identification will not be disclosed provisions for research related injury the institute provides treatments for all possible research related injuries there is no provision for any monetary or non monetary compensation for the participants from the institution 